TNP TV News you can trust. It was always doomed to failure. Islam and democracy are completely incompatible. In one of the most exclusive and affluent areas of London, Muslims threatened to murder and massacre Europeans. Just months after the slaughter of commuters on London Underground, the Muslims threatened more bombs and death. Despite the presence of large numbers of police, the security forces had been ordered not to protect the public from such threats. While many British people cannot understand why their government could possibly allow this to happen, there is a twisted logic for them to do so. From the government's perspective, they know they are increasingly reliant on Muslim votes to cling to power. The Labour Party has effectively isolated itself from the British electorate, but in a way has put itself into a kind of political checkmate. If they act against Muslim terrorists, they lose the moderate Muslim votes. If they fail to act, then the bombs go off. After July the 7th, the government declared they would deport terrorists from Britain, but failed to act against a single one of them, and have now dropped the idea. In their mathematical analysis of the electorate, they have coldly calculated that a Muslim vote is worth more than a British life. Their tombstone politics may cost them more than the election, however, if the terrorists launch an attack on Parliament. BMP News, London.